Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the um, Assault on Hoth, I think that's what it's called, um, minifigure pack. It actually does not list the name, as you can tell. It just says the set number, if you could call it a set, the pack number 40557, ages 6 plus with 64 pieces. Um, it comes with three minifigures, which is a little bit disappointing because the normal minifigure packs come with four figures, but they're always going to shortchange Star Wars, so we have three figures, and then some actually pretty good builds, especially if you're into the whole Hoth wave that's come out with the at, -AT the Battle Pack, the ATST, and what have you. Um, this is actually a pretty formidable um, offense, uh, or defense rather, to the offense that comes out on the planet of Hoth. So I do like that. I also really like the minifigure pack. I've never reviewed one of these on my channel before, but I've gotten both of the Harry Potter minifigure packs, so I do like them, and I, I think that they're packaged in a really cute way with this Lego person as holding all of the the items you can see your three troopers here plus a build it says three here and then if you flip it over it actually comes with two really cool guns with little uh charging packs and then it shows a little bit clearer what the minifigures look like so let's go ahead and take this um let's take this out and then i'll build it for the camera and then we'll do a quick review over it These instructions are so tiny, they're supposed to be folded like this, and it looks like a teeny tiny instruction booklet. It's really cute, but it actually does fold out. Alrighty, and here's everything built up. I actually think it's a pretty comparable uh, minifigure blister pack uh, in regards to the Hoth uh, Stormtrooper battle pack that we get. You actually can uh, do a little battle and it makes sense and the figures are pretty uh, evenly numbered and the weapons are evenly numbered at that. So I think that this is definitely worth picking up if you want to expand your Hoth set. We get a lot of Hoth sets, but I I'm glad that at least they've instead of it being so random within the wave they focused a lot of wave to hoth so if you pick everything up you can have a decent display but anyways um it comes with obviously three big guns so we have this like large turret here which is controlled by a couple of handlebars or a pair of handlebars um and it doesn't have any action to it there's no like stud shooter or anything but it does move so it moves around uh, so that's kind of cool. You can pivot it or rotate it i do like the little uh add-ons to look like snow or ice that it's like been built into the terrain of Hoth. I think that looks really nice and again solidifies the scenery that you're supposed to have with this. And then you get two of these and they're they're not like e-web blasters because they're on the rebel side, but they're very similar and I actually like their build better uh, with this like, I guess they're more cannony maybe. Um, and so I like this like single tube. I think it looks cleaner. Um, and then I like this little clear triangular piece. Now, I don't like the way that the tripod is composed of guns. Uh, I mean, it's good if you're needing more weapons, but I think it just looks so obviously like guns, like blasters on the, the tripod legs that it just looks goofy a little bit to me. Um, and then they do come with these like little charging battery pack control thingy. I don't know, have any idea what these are, but they look really nice next to the gun. Um, I think those look cool. So you do get two of those. So there is a weapon for everybody to fire since you get three minifigures. And to be honest, out of the two blister sets right now that we have for Star Wars, this one is better in terms of new minifigures since we do get the repeat um, clone trooper commander or sergeant or general, whatever he is. Um, so he's technically a repetitive figure. These are all three listed as new in Bricklink. So taking a look first at this guy, um, and I think he might be the superior officer here. It's hard to tell, uh, but he is dressed a little bit differently, though his legs are more plain. Um, I do like his vest, and then he has some sort of... St uh, ranking on his chest there and then he has an angry face and then on the back he has a relatively bored looking face now just like we've always seen with hoth troopers they give us these glasses that you could technically wear like this but i think they look really dumb honestly i have never liked this design um, because it covers like their entire face like these goggles are just supposed to cover their eyes but it covers their whole uh face so i always keep them up top um i think they look much better that way but he's pretty cool 
And then we get a female here, and she looks the same. Well, she doesn't look the same. She has a different torso and leg printing, which is pretty cool for a Hoff Trooper. Um, definitely some more equipment on her uh, snow vest there, and then her rank is clearly different. She has a belt with some pouches, um, and she has the same hat, and then she's uh, like a darker color, and she's angry, and it's only one-sided. I think it's interesting that the two males have two-sided faces, and then the female just has one stern face. And then this guy is my favorite. He is dressed exactly like the girl, um, but obviously he is a black dude, and I think he looks really good. He even has little, I guess there's spots of gray in his beard, but you could almost think they were spots of snow. Uh, he looks just so good. I love him. Um, and then he has a nicer, kinder face on the back um, of his head there. But I really like the diversity that they included in this pack. I think it just brings it to life more to show that there were, you know, not like clone trooper-esque looking guys running, you know, the, the Rebel Alliance, because the Rebel Alliance is literally just made out of, up of everybody. I mean, I think that Star Wars really expresses that, and it's like anybody that's kind of like in need and wants to get away from the dictatorship of the Empire, you know, um, comes to join the Resistance or the Rebel Alliance, and you see lots of different characters from that, mostly humans, but um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I definitely think that it adds um, some color to the Hoth diorama, um, and it's pretty cool. We, we've seen um, in, in deleted scenes, we've seen uh, women as Hoth soldiers, so that's pretty cool. They're just hard to make out because they wear helmets and dress like the guys, which is fine, but I think it's really neat, and I think that you get two, three great characters. I do wish that they included a fourth, but um, you do get some decent weapons, and again, if you set this up against the newest battle pack, it is pretty formidable. So, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and until next time, I will see you guys later.